Now, everything old is new again. America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Called the Desert Trip, for some it reads like a baby boomer's bucket list. The Rolling Stones, Paul McCartney, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Roger Waters and The Who, all greats from the 60s. And let's face it, with some of them pushing 80, the October Festival in the Desert could have been advertised as the last chance saloon. Doesn't she sound so very excited? This is Douglas Viviani, and I'm here along with the uh, the rather, rather musical, architectural David Cohen. Yeah. Are you excited about this thing? I am excited. I, I, that clip just kind of bums me out because it, it, she's so deadpan, yeah. and, and then she talks about there being relics in the last... <laughs> they're <laughs> they're going to die soon, What nonsense is this? this? They're on their deathbed. This is the last <laughs> chance you'll have to see them. This desert trip concert, which is going to be performed in October, is over-the-top fantastic. It's got tremendous people. It's got McCartney, Dylan. It's got Neil Young. Rolling Stones, The Who, Roger Waters from, from Pink Floyd. I mean, this is a three-day extravaganza. So let's get away from that lady. Let's think about this is a concert of concerts. It defines everything old is new again because all six of these individuals are 60 years old plus. They are over the age of 60, closer to 70, and even Roger Waters, I believe, is 79. Uh, they're getting to the, and, and McCartney's got to be like 76 or something. So they're getting almost to be 80 years old. They're selling out arenas everywhere. What and is it about these people and others that are still generating excitement and sold out concerts throughout the country and even the world some 30, 40, 50 years after they be they began their career. So this week we're going to take a look at the live concert music scene and try to find out why these artists who started in the 60s and are now pushing their 80s and say started in the 1960s and in age-wise are pushing their 80s. People, yeah, we get it. We why? Get it. But listen, <laughs> why is it selling out? What's going on? It, okay, I'm happy to talk. I I like this subject and Good. I'm excited about it. I don't think it's everything old is new again because Doug, these guys have been performing since the 60s. It's not like they suddenly waited 50 years and now are coming out of the woodwork and saying, "Let's go back on tour." So I don't know if this is everything old is new again. Well, it's not almost like everything old has stayed old. <laughs> well, all right, I, maybe so, but it's new because it's still, I mean, if you're going to go see a concert this year, you're going to go see, let's go through the list just to start the ball rolling here. Ringo Starr, right. Paul McCartney, Kiss, Guns N' Roses, Bruce Springsteen, Janet Jackson, The Who, Elton John, Metallica, The Bad, Bad Company, Leonard Skinner and Peter Frampton, Sting and Peter Gabriel, Journey and the Doobie Brothers, Def Leppard, Iron Maiden, I, come on, uh, Joan Jett, Hearts, Cheap Trick, Counting Crows, Black Sabbath, Jimmy Buffett, Kansas, Led Zeppelin, I know, Billy did Joel, you, did you Bob Dylan. Did you just wake up? I mean, this every year these people Aero tour. Smith, you got What's more on this list. You? There's Van Halen, there's Brian Wilson, there's the Beach Boys, there's Rod Stewart, Fleetwood Mac. I mean, I know what you're saying, but I don't understand. Let's put it this way. In 1968. You mean, let's put it in a way that makes sense? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Figure this out. 1968. Were there musicians playing and selling out concert venue in 1968 that was 70 years old? That means that their heyday was in the 30s and 40s. No, because rock and roll only started in the 50s. That's so they my couldn't point. Be... But music has been around forever. It's, it, this has not gone away. But no, right. my I agree other with point that. is, my other point is, and we'll visit this later on, what about the new generation? Right. Are there or will there be people, and we'll visit this, but I want to propose the question first, that are 20 and 30 years old now, that when they're in their 70s, will be selling out yeah, venue? I, I think that's a much more pertinent and interesting question to All ask. All right, we'll take yes. a look. Let's just revisit some of who we've got here. I know you know who they are, but let's listen to them recently. Here's McCartney recently. Recently. Yes. Now, this guy sounds as good as ever. You tell I, me. I saw him about a year ago, and uh, yeah, he's, he, it's amazing. He's timeless. He just doesn't, 
You know, maybe he can't hit every high note he used to hit in the you know in the sixties and seventies, but man, he is still, still and good. he still gives you a good three hour show, yeah. which is amazing. Amazing, and uh, and and I mean, just as an aside, a showman, he's he's a good showman, he's not a great showman, right. I don't think. He doesn't introduce songs all that well. He doesn't get the audience, but listen to that audience and yesterday, right there, they all knew the words. They were singing along with him. Sure. So his book is the amount of music that he has is over the top, of course. Uh, let's listen to a little Dylan. Uh, see what we think about. I know you're a big Dylan fan. Unfortunately, that was back from the like the 1980s uh, the clip. There's no recent clips that you can even understand what he's saying. You can't understand him anymore. <laughs> he's he's yeah no he's he's kind of shot. Uh, yeah, no, he's I hate pretty to say much it. shot. Yeah. yeah, I think you go to see him because he's Bob Dylan. I so don't he's think... more of a historical right. Concert. You see him that because you're like oh wow that's Bob Dylan, but you're not going for the you know musical aesthetic of listening to him. Which I'm sure shame. his band is good, but he just can't sing. He can't or maybe sing. he just doesn't care. I don't know. He just doesn't mm. even seem like he wants to care to pronounce the words anymore. He's kind of like, I've sang this song a hundred times, done. These guys are getting paid an inordinate amount of money for each set that they do at this desert thing. Yeah. So, desert yeah, uh, there's yeah. a reason they're coming out and doing it, not necessarily for I know, the love of music. But it's but, an amazing yeah. crew. You've yes. also got, you know, listen to Neil Young going to be there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, look at my life. Now, if you go for that kind of, you know, he's more of a folky kind of a guy, but he's looking at that voice. He can rock out pretty That's well, true. too. But That's yeah. true. Uh, 2013, I mean, he's still got a really good He's still good going voice strong. Yep. Okay. Uh, Stones, uh, Rolling Stones, a bit for the devil. I was there with Jesus Christ. Don't give up. They're going strong. It's uh, unbelievable. I mean, it really is. Now they have a. You, what do you think? And do you, do they have a? I want to say something maybe controversial. I love seeing them in concert. I've seen them many times. I go and see, and I I say this. I've seen see them, and I hear every song that I want to hear. McCartney or some of these others have such a larger book they call it, right a larger amount of songs or hits that you walk out and you say it was a great concert but I missed this song I didn't hear that song I don't you tell me I, I think the Rolling Stones are maximizing they do a tremendous show um, he's kind of his voice is he's never really singing anyway really Mitch Jagger. <laughs> you know what I mean he's a lot of talking right. so he's kept up with it Keith Richards playing like crazy like a loon to this day right. uh, but. I don't know how to say this. There's nothing really new coming out of any of these people, is there? I mean, it's a better question. Well, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, Neil Young came out with an album fairly recently. McCartney still cuts yes. albums. The Rolling Stones, uh, no, not, not yeah, so much. Yeah, they're kind of just staying with where they right. are, and they do the same concert, like, for the last 20 years. Same I guess. with The Who. Yeah, yeah you know. Um, so, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, it depends. Right. It, it's it's it, nice to see them. It's great to see them. I love it. Uh, I just, how do I say this? I wish they would continue to, but they're in the 70s, but I right. wish they would continue to produce some more music. That's the selfish part of me, right? I want, I I want another hit from them. But you're not going to get a hit from somebody in the 70s playing rock and roll, are you? You tell me. Mm, probably not. Yeah, probably so not. it's unrealistic uh, yeah. point of view, but selfishly, don't you feel like, ah, oh, jeez. Because so. yeah, they're wish. still together. Right. Why aren't they right. doing another album? That's you know? the thing. You know, not, not to veer off the subject, I don't right. think we are, but... Uh, I, I was a huge David Bowie fan. I never saw him live. And when he passed away, I said to myself, uh, you know what? I've got to start seeing people that I want to see before, you know, they kick the bucket. Yeah, yeah. Because I think he, well, I mean, he was sick. So who knows? But if he, if he wasn't sick, you know, he may have been at this as well. And he is someone that kept producing new music till the day he died. That's a good point. We'll be back on everything old is new. we got to continue our investigation of the concert scene. 2016. You're listening to Everything Old is New Again, America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Well, 
Welcome back to Everything Old is New Again. We're discussing the 2016 concert uh, tours, if you will. And that was just Roger Waters from Pink Floyd. Before that, we heard Rolling Stones and The Who and Neil Young and Dylan and McCartney, all of which will be performing at the Desert Trip concert in basically San Bernardino, California. And that's going to be a show of shows. It, yeah, definitely. Are you going to go? Uh, I, I would I would love to go, uh, and if I was in my 20s, I definitely would go, but with the responsibilities and all that now. But then again, we, we have a sh- we have a we play our show on KCAA in San Bernardino every Monday at three. So in L.A. Right? No, yeah, San Bernardino, okay. and they reach into L.A. So maybe okay. I could Business write trip. off a Business trip, trip to visit Business them. Business trip. Business trip. Business trip. <laughs> the tickets aren't that bad. The tickets for the show are anywhere from 300 to 1500 Although there's going to be a secondary market. I think they're probably sold out already. They're sold out. You cannot get tickets to it right now. Yeah. So you're going to be paying... I can tell you right now, you're paying a lot more than three. But isn't this like an outside venue, sort of like a? Um, yeah, it's like, a right. It's an outdoor. So let's say they have a fence up. You know, why yeah. can I stand like right on the other side of the fence and listen to the music? They won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will not let you. Well, I'm sure so you could pay somebody something. Anyway, that's going to be some whale of a show. <laughs> you can. They still won't let you. But <laughs> it lends me to the idea that the concerts we've read, you know, a list previously of all these bands or performers that are 50 years old plus, mostly 60s to 70s, right. that performed in the 60s and 70s that are now 60, 70, almost 80 years, years old. old. And the question is, if you were to see or recommend to a person that hasn't seen any of these performers or bands to see one this summer, which would it be before? I allow you to answer that question. I would like to first, I have three questions for you. What are you looking for? The first thing, would you be looking for someone that has the best songbook, like Billy Joel? It's on a heck of a show, but I tell you, if I paid two hundred fifty dollars for a ticket, I don't think I would want to listen to the audience singing the song to Billy Joel. Right, it exactly. should be the other way around. Yeah, you go to a bar and sing <laughs> sing it there. Why do you have to? Yeah. I mean, what's going on there? But think about what he's got going on. He wrote, he wrote music umpteen years ago, and he's playing a piano in Madison Square Garden uh, once a month. By the way, he's doing it at Infinite until, residency yeah. until, until they don't sell out anymore, which is great. Uh, so the question is, eighteen thousand people singing to him. What must that feel like? Pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I've had it happen to me a few times, and let me tell you, it's awesome. There you go, and it's uh, and and this is going to be reality versus a dream for for Billy Joel. So yeah, there's no difference. <laughs> and so McCartney does that. Stones kind of has that as right. well. Uh, so the question is, do you go for someone that has a lot of great songs, or do you look for like a showman, like a Rod Stewart, that does a we great need show? Some audience participation for the cameras on this next song. You won't let me down, even you, madam. That's from 2004. He still sounds good then. I saw him last year. He still sounds good now. Uh, Billy he, Joel. He's clip- not exactly rock and roll anymore. You know, let's be serious. That's that's the thing. He started out as a rock and roll guy, and he's morphed now because his audience has gotten older, and he's kind of played to that as opposed to trying to pretend that he's still young like Mick Jagger. I, hate to, I mean, I, it's, that's, no, I think yeah, he made a choice not to be rock and roll anymore. He's, he's a pop singer. That's all he was okay. for a lot of his career. I see. But there's Don't a show there. Started. There's a, uh, <laughs> but there's a show there. And I just want to say. He's a showman, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. He, he, you know, that's A question is do you recommend someone for a showman? Or right. do you. And you're saying that this is not a rock and roll guy anymore. Correct. What do you think of these guys? I mean, 
Robert Plant is sounding good. That's pretty recent as well. Um, he does sound good, yeah. And that's rock and roll. They don't. I think the last time they performed, they'll talk about the entire the three people surviving, uh, you know, in that band as opposed to uh, just Plant and and uh, and Jimmy Page, you know, which they went on tour. But right. the, you know, the entire Zeppelin experience. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to have John Bonham's son. Yeah, perform with them right. this time as well, right. which he's done before. So that's sort of a family legacy too. So it's that's interesting. Last and they're going to be at Yankee Stadium and all over. The last time they performed together like that really was Live Aid. The, I'm wow, about, you know the, that long ago. The huh? So that so the historical element is something yeah. I want to ask you about because they'll have songs, but they're not going to have. It's, not, no one's going to know all of the songs that they play mm. unless you're a fan. I'm talking about the person that's. You know, remember, we're recommending so like this a, to someone. Okay, you know that's someone not who, seen any of these people. Well, but yeah, okay. But they so, don't know them, but they've not seen them before. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> come on, answer my question. Just let me answer. I think, Wait, I know the clip. No, I'm kidding. Let, you know, Led Zeppelin's an acquired taste. I know they're rock and roll, but if it's a, if it's a fan who's not familiar with them, I think it's a lot. I think yeah. it's a lot to, to, to load on to someone. So my pick would be head and shoulders above anyone else is Paul McCartney. I think you have to go see him before you yourself kick the bucket. I, I've seen him a number of times. I absolutely love his performance. He uh, does not stop. I mean, like you say, he's he's played. Uh, he plays almost three hours. Yep. Sometimes he takes an intermission, but you know, he he, he most of the time goes straight through. Yeah. There's like a video montage. Sometimes he does, but you don't even oh, notice. He's, he's, he's got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I don't even notice that he goes off stage. And he he plays the <laughs> piano. He plays the bass. He plays the guitar. He sings. Um, he's playing stuff from Wings. Right. He's I mean, playing all the Beatles stuff. He's playing the stuff. Right. He did solo with Wings and. On and on and it, but it, if you have to go to the bathroom once it starts playing hey jude with all due respect that's when you go to the bathroom <laughs> this concert it's enough already with the hey jude it's i not... just go right in my seat <laughs> I, mean, um, <laughs> I pay too much money for that <clears throat> excuse so me so anyway hey jude is not uh stay with heaven like you know he's trying to make it an anthem i'm just saying i'm oh, that's my little pet peeve I'm on pretend you didn't say that. but all right. other than that um <laughs> no i agree with you i'm going to try to find someone else to recommend uh, I would say Stones, I, but they don't really have. Put it this way: the Stones play everything that they've got on the calendar. They play, which is right. great. I just feel like a little selfish that I want to hear them. They're still together. Can't they come out with something new? Uh, and I guess they can. I mean, these guys are in their seventies. Like, it's not really fair to. They ask, can, right? But they, you know, why? why if you could just pay, get paid seven million dollars to do a set at, at Desert Storm, right. whatever they're right. calling. Well, I mean, then you got to throw out Springsteen. I mean, you know, he's a great performer. Absolutely. But again, you may not know all of his music because he plays for three hours. You definitely don't know every song that he's playing in those three hours. I, I true, and I would recommend uh, really briefly. Brian Wilson is touring this summer playing the entire Pet Sounds album with his band, which was an iconic album, very influential on the Beatles and, and other artists that followed. That, to me, is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I'm actually going to go see that myself. So that's great. So And I agree with you, especially Brian Wilson. It's just a shame that he's, he just plays the, the one album. It sounds like it's, a, it's like a one-hour concert. But uh, yeah, that is that's a good question. I, maybe he throws some stuff in at the end, but but you'll at least hear that album from start. And he's to finish, the founding is... member of the Beach Boys, and right. when they were a serious band and had did serious, I mean, as serious as could be, music, they they right. were of, of quite an influence. So, all right. In sum, Brian Wilson, Paul McCartney, uh, maybe the Stones, uh, maybe Zeppelin or Billy Joel. Those would be the recommendations, I think. Uh, of above all, McCartney is clearly the recommendation that I, I would suggest yeah. uh, to go see before. I mean, let's face it, uh, time is passing for all of us. Before we become dust in the wind, let's go ahead and recommend Paul McCartney. Or any of them that you like. Just go out there and see them. Bring a kid with you. Enjoy it. Any kid. Well, your, your kid. Now, back to America's entertainment pop culture talk show, Everything Old is New Again, with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Welcome back to Everything Old is New Again. It's 2012. Springsteen and McCartney performing together. Isn't that interesting? McCartney's done this a lot with a lot of different groups of, of performers. Actually, I think you could say, maybe you could say, George Harrison was one of the first 
to form these super bands where there are bands of performers that were in other very successful bands, maybe even the person like Tom Petty was the person in the band. And meanwhile, they got together for the Traveling Wilburys. Right, exactly. You know, with yeah. Dylan and, you know, just... Roy Orbison. Roy Orbison and, and uh, from ELO, Jeff Lynn. I mean, that was an amazing, amazing thing. And so we're going to take that one step beyond. McCartney's, we've just seen, did that with Springsteen. He's done that before with uh, with many performers as well. Um, we, on Everything Old is New Again, feel it's time to have a draft, a.k.a. like the an NFL, for a super band. And the rules are going to be this. You need to have a rhythm guitar player. A lead guitarist, a lead singer, if you want one, other than those people, a bass player and a drum player, and possibly piano, if you want to select piano as well. And now we're going to select it where one person picks any of those categories for your team. Uh, David's going to pick his team. I'm going to pick my team. And at the end, we're going to have the supergroup of all time. But what it has to be. You gotta say it. These musicians have to be like dinosaurs, basically, and they have to be touring this year. If they're not touring, they're not on the list. Exactly. We've read the list in the beginning, first section of the show. Out of any of those bands, we've made a, uh, a power listing uh, of, by section, by uh, by instrument, and let's see what bands we can come up with. I've done some research. We really should flip the a dice or something. Who's going to be the first, first pick? Uh, how about we do this? Whoever gets the first pick, the second person, the other person gets picked two and three, oh. and then we alternate from there. Wow. I'm, so what do you, which would you prefer, pick I, one or two and three? I'd rather pick two and three. All Wouldn't right, I'm you? picking one then. Okay. No, I'll okay. take number one, and clearly that's Paul McCartney. How did I, how Without did I know? hesitation. So he's playing bass. Just so you listen, please he's you can play. He's a bass player. You can play a Along, Roger Waters is still on the table for bass players. Right. Tom Peterson for uh, the, who invented this twelve-string guitar uh, bass play, twelve-string bass for Cheap Trick. Uh, there's Gene Simmons from Kiss. There's John Paul Jones from Zeppelin. There's uh, Sting, and there's uh, John uh, McVie for Fleetwood Mac. So that's pretty much we, it. Yeah. Now you can pick whatever you want, but I just want to remind who's out there for the bass players. Right. But I can pick. I don't have to pick a bass player. Correct. Well, eventually you do, but now right. your second and third picks are who? My second pick, Doug, would be the inimitable Jimmy Page. Wow! 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 Right. And you're gonna have him as your lead guitar, right? Uh, you know, your your is it your lead guitar? You know, yeah. no, Doug, because I have the second and third picks. Jimmy Page is my rhythm guitar. Uh, but then he cannot play lead on a, on a song. That's okay. Oh, he's going to be frustrated. Oh, you, you, you get some, you're sowing the seeds of discontent right from the beginning. I, I guess am. we could allow him to play, play lead if, if it... Yeah, you know, because... Uh, All right, so well, here's my have. strategy. Go ahead. Let's my strategy is to, to get a lead guitarist and a rhythm guitarist that can really interchange with each other, even though they're officially assigned to those. Like so, a Skinner type of situation. Exactly. Okay. Now, you might call me, um, you know... Crazy. Crazy for this one, yeah. But we're dealing with some dinosaurs here. But I want to get two guys whose styles are, are are not similar to each other. Okay. okay, not that anyone's similar to Jimmy Page, but but there are a lot of copycats. Go right? ahead. So, my lead guitarist is going to be Eddie Van Halen. Whoa, because I think him and him and uh, Jimmy Page would would complement each other because their styles are different. Interesting. Okay. Uh, just so you're listening along, you'll play along. Oh, the, yeah. we got to tell the remaining, the, lead, remaining guitarists lead guitarists are Pete Townsend from, of course, The Who, The Stones, right. Keith Richards, uh, Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick, uh, Fleetwood Mac, Lindsey Buckingham was pretty good, Slash from The Guns N' Roses, Ace Freely from Kiss, and Joe Perry from Aerosmith. That's a pretty good... Uh, and, and Jeff Beck. And, and Jeff Don't Beck. Don't forget Jeff Beck. Yeah, and the rhythm guitarist, where I pick, who I picked Jimmy Page from. Right. Um... Uh, Gary Rossington from S Leonard Skinner, Good. Bruce Springsteen, um, Robin Zander from Cheap Trick, J Jimmy Buffett, really, Doug? Jimmy well. Buffett <laughs> and uh, Bob Bob Dylan, and they're all they're all on tour. So yep. they they that's why they're on the list. All right, my second pick, okay, controversial. I'm going for Billy Joel on the piano. Why is that controversial? Well, um, because you would usually go with a more uh, if you're doing a rock band, piano is not usually the instrument you think about. 
You know, and there's not many pian- pianists right now. There's right. Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys out there, right. Elton John and Billy Joel. But I think because Billy Joel's got so much music uh, behind him, as does Paul McCartney. Now you can play tons of songs. They've played before. Uh, they, uh, Billy Joel has clearly said in the past that McCartney has been a, an inspiration to him. Uh, they're about, I guess, 15, 10 to 15 years apart in age. So uh, they work well together. So I think the egos will work together there. Uh, there's a lot of music to choose between the two of them. So, so far, I've got McCartney and Billy Joel. Uh, you have the next selection. Young, okay. Okay. My next selection, and I'm going with a singer now. Interesting. I need a singer. <laughs> Um, I am, you know, I, I, I have to go with Robert Plant. Interesting. Okay. Well, and you got Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. You're doing Zeppelin here, but okay. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? It I'm is not even weird. that big a Zeppelin fan. I'm just going based on pure, pure, uh, talent, I think. Okay. So uh, the other singers on this list, goods. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read Rod Stewart as a singer. He no. is. Uh, Mick Jagger, Steve Tyler, uh, Roger Dar, uh, Roger Daughtry, could you spell that right? Yes, I spelled okay. it wrong. Um, Stevie Nicks, that's interesting. Axl Rose and Paul McCartney, but he's already been chosen. Right, as a bass player. Well, McCartney's yeah, he's uh, he's not just a lead singer. He's he, he's more than that. So okay, so you've chosen Robert Plant, Eddie Van Halen, and Jimmy Page. That's going to be a loud rocking band, boy. All right, I'm going to go. I need a lead guitarist, so I'm going to go for that. And uh, you already picked Jimmy Page, so I'm going to select between Keith Richards and Rick Nielsen of Cheap Trick, both Hall of Famers. Who would work better with my group? Now, I think Keith Richards is a better lead guitarist, but I'm going to go with Rick Nielsen because I, he's another Beatles fan, so I'm going for harmony here and, uh, and, and same mindset, so they're not going to fight over you know, songs and what song to play and so forth. So uh, Rick Nielsen, he still plays the mean guitar. I saw him recently. He's he's up there. He's pretty good. He's not as good as some of these others, but I'm going to take him as a dark horse because he's going to go with my band pretty good. Okay. So there's my all-star so far. The other lead guitarist is Pete Townsend, uh, Slash from Guns N' Roses. Did we do the rest of these? We talked yeah. about these already. Yeah, we did. Joe Perry from Aerosmith? Right. Okay. Um, what do you, now, so that's you are my third and By the pick. way, The Edge isn't on here because U2 is not touring. Correct. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, my next person like is... Like a minute left, so let's... My, my next person is going to be Elton John. Oh, okay. Pianist. Elton All right, John. I got gotcha. you. All right, we've got to get drums. i got to get a drummer here. Um, do I even have rhythm guitar? I'm going to pick Gary Rossington from, um, uh, from Skinner, because uh, he also can play lead as well. Uh, so Gary Rossington is going to be my rhythm guitarist, and uh, you've got one more to go. Uh, well, that's a drum. I need drums. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Charlie Watts of the Stones. Okay, Charlie, Charlie Watts. I'm going with Mick Fleetwood. I think he's he's still got. Uh, so we didn't pick. No one picked Ringo. Yeah, Ringo's there, That's but I'm not bad. taking him. Uh, Mick Fleetwood. He's not going to sing. He's not going to fight for time. He's just going to just enjoy being in the Viviani Supergroup. We'll come on back and summarize, summarize. what we've got. We may have one more selection each if we want. Everything old is new again. I have one, two, three. I have five guys. You have, you have six. I have one more selection. Come on back. This is Everything Old is New Again, America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. That's it. Welcome back to Everything Old is New Again. That ended pretty quick. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, the long story short is uh, the Blues Brothers are still on tour, are on, on tour as well. Uh, every clip that you have heard on Everything Old is New Again, our show about the concerts uh, out there for the 2016 season, every clip you've heard of that band is on tour. We are continuing like here with our selection of the Super Band. 
Yes. Young David Cohen, you have one more selection to go. Your band right now is Jimmy Page on rhythm guitar, which, of course, he can cheat and play some, some lead there. You've got uh, Eddie Van Halen, Robert Plant as your lead singer, Elton John with the keyboards, and Charlie Watts, who is a decent um, uh, drummer. Decent, uh, yeah, it's just that drummers, decent. it's tough for drummers to be drumming like crazy in their 60s and 70s. i got to give them credit. It's tough. Yeah, it is tough. So. I, you know, I, I, I might fire Elton John. I don't think this band. I I know we're following the draft rules here, but I don't think the keyboardist is really integral to this band. You can you can fire him if you like. Joel might have you've got to tell him. I'm not telling. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right, so he's out. Okay, so who goes? You or me? You go. All right, one so more selection. I need a bass player. Right. So my bass player is going to be drum roll, please. It is going to be... If you pick John Paul J- uh, Jones, you're in trouble. Another Zeppelin guy? No, I didn't say oh, I was going to Oh, okay. Pick I him. thought you were going to go that no, way. You're no, going no, with no, Sting. No, 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 no. No, I'm not really? going with Sting. G- uh, too many, like... Yeah. All right, all right, we'll go with Sting. Well, what were you thinking? Well, I was thinking Flea from... Uh... From Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, you got to think he, he would he, be. They're going to get so upset. Could you, the flea, could you put your shirt on, please? I mean, it's all they're going to do is talk about his, him walking around without that shirt on. All right, Sting. <laughs> He'll keep his shirt on, but it still will be an attraction for the ladies. Uh, but, but again, like having Sting s- just stand there and play the bass seems like kind of a he waste. Did that of with Sting. the police? He can, he can he sing sa- too. What do you mean he did? I, well, listen, he just, sang. Because, just because you have a lead singer doesn't mean you, you can't have these other fellows sing. Sting it is. Yes, that's a pretty. I mean, he's All a right. creative dude. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be a little controversial here. My last selection, I have, I have Paul McCartney, who also can sing, of course. Who do you, Billy, need, what, you need a singer. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I Billy Joel. i got Rick Nielsen. I've got Gary Rossington and Mick Fleetwood on the drums. I need uh, basically a lead Is he singer. Is still alive? Yes. Mick Fleetwood? My, you uh, my, sure? Oh, yeah. I saw him last year. It was terrific. I uh, don't think so. I have a... Yes. <laughs> I have a question. Um, my real issue is this. With that band that I have... Do I need a lead singer? I'm falling on the side of no. But what I will do, you've got Rod Stewart, you got Janet Jackson, you got Mick Jagger, you got Steve Tyler, uh, Roger Daughtry from, Daughtry from uh, The Who, you got uh, Axl Rose, and I'm going to select controversial Stevie Nicks because. She'll be able to sing back up to all these characters. She does great harmonies. And when you need her to play, okay. uh, to, she doesn't see, sing lead on every song with Fleetwood Mac. So she can tow that ego a little bit and, and, and uh, let you know, McCartney and Billy Joel do their thing. All right, so, so let's, let's, yeah. let's review your lineup now. I okay. got McCartney. Uh, on bass, bass, you have Paul McCartney. Correct. Piano, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Rick Nielsen is going to be my lead singer. I got Gary Rossington. Rick, nice, where, hello. Lead my guitar. Lead guitar. Gary Rossington is the rhythm and slash. He can also play lead. I've got Mick Fleetwood on the drums and Stevie Nicks. My quote lead singer, not really a lead singer. You've got more of a pop band than a rock band. Listen, Sorry. Oh, that's, you're kidding me. That is a band of bands. You're kidding. The, the, the variety in that band, the creativity, holy smokes, that's going to be a band that anyone and everyone on the planet will want to see the next album that comes out. You've got Jimmy Page, right? Yep. Eddie Van Halen, Robert Plant, Charlie Watson, Sting. Not bad. That's going to be, that. you're not going to, like, you I think my band's better. I don't and think my band's bad. By the way, Mick Fleetwood is alive. I just confirmed that, but yeah. but apparently he doesn't have too much longer. No, I, I, I just made that up. Sorry, no, he's I just doing made tremendous. That up. You kidding? He did a tremendous show. He's uh, like he's ninety. Mick Fleetwood. No, you sure not. he can play the drums? He played anymore? tremendous. He's better than I. I love Ringo, but he plays just as well, if not better, than Ringo at this All point. Right. He's a smidge younger than Ringo, and that's why I went with him. Uh, at this point, the question then now is: How do we get these guys together? Yeah, this this would be <laughs> man. We, you know what we'll do? We'll have them. I, what we'll do is we'll be sneaky about it. Everything old is new again. We'll call all their you know, agents and have them come on Because we, ha- we have that kind of pull. Yes, to mm-hmm. our studio. And just coincidentally, we'll do it one week at a time. My band will just show up here, all those guys. <laughs> and we'll say, hey, guy, you know, there's a couple of instruments here. You want to just jam a little bit while we're a little behind? We've got to work out some technicalities on the show. I don't see how it can started. fail. Hey, uh, uh, let's start it. plan. Meantime, what I want to talk about is who now is in their 20s and 30s that will be performing like the people we're talking about in their 60s, 70s, and 80s and still drawing huge crowds like Leonard Skinner. When I was young There's 
a band with just uh, one original member uh, left, uh, Skinner, and that's sounding how they sound in 2015. They still sound pretty good. Uh, I really would suggest seeing them. It's, they're not up to cream they, of the crop of what we're did, talking but about. But a few but, of them are not. I mean, they they were deceased, right? I mean, I said there's the only original. one. There's only one original left, which yeah, is Gary Rossi, so and then there's not, the brother of the uh, lead singer who passed away. Yeah, and then there's and, the neighbor of the bass player. No, uh, the, <laughs> they are a tremendous band. They have a lot of fun on stage. But all right, so you talk about fun. I think you're going to go to uh, take a look at uh, Springsteen. That's a fun show. That's good. Why didn't anybody pick him for your super band? By the way, wow. That was a mistake. I'll tell you why. I, I, tell me why. Come on, Bruce. Tell us why you're not in the super bands. Well, Bruce, because Bruce is his own guy. I don't think he would fit in with the band. So, well, he played with McCartney. He he is, he's not the best vocalist. No, he's not better than anyone we picked as no. far as vocals. He's not better than anyone we picked on guitar. No. So, so, what's right. left? So there, <laughs> well, there's Jimmy Buffett. We can, you know. There's, he's a rhythm guitar. No, what else is he? A lot of funny cuts. I saw him in concert. I've seen all these guys in concert. I'd like to see Jimmy Buffett. I would. It's fun. It's fun. I, would. I didn't expect it to be fun. It was a yeah. fun concert. Uh, it's a lot more songs that you don't realize yeah. are his. I'm not surprised. Yeah. And then I saw Cheap Trick also uh, in Huntington. Uh, Twice the last two years. It's a lot of fun, man. Good, good stuff. I mean, you know, brings it back to the day, and it's still hard rock. Not hard, but it's good rock and roll, man. Yeah, it's fun. And you're listening. You, you I mean, I got a pick from Rick Nielsen. He threw it right at me. <laughs> He oh, keeps, he keeps throwing the picks into oh, the right. audience. All the so time. you have a pick from him. I sure do. Nice. All right, you got forty-five seconds. Who is going to be uh, doing this in thirty, forty years from now? Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. Um, Foo Fighters. Interesting. Uh, Radiohead. Mm. Um, um.